Tell me a little bit about your dance background and how you happen to know this variation. Well, I'm trying to, actually, I started at the Old Benton, but when Mr. Balanchine came to this country and wanted to start a school, uh, there were, I think, about ten of us that went in and... You knew about him? You knew his reputation? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> We had, well, I didn't really know much about him because he hadn't been publicized here very much. Uh, well, that's what I wondered. Yeah, he just but, arrived. Um, more when less. the information got out, he was going to have a ballet company. That's what that is. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to be in there. So there were about ten of us, and we worked for a while with him. But um, the ballet Russe came to New York, and they were so very successful, which nobody had expected. They had to break the company in two. Mm -hmm. Part of it stayed here, part of it went on tour to previous bookings, and they filled in the gaps with American dancers. So I left Balanchine for that, and I never managed to get back. No. <laughs> <laughs> but one of my very close friends was Lita Anchitina, mm -hmm. and she did this variation that we just did. And I just loved that variation, so I made a point of learning it. Did she actually teach it to you, or did you no, watch? No, no, I would watch it. Uh-huh. Um, did you see Balanchine teaching it to her? No. No. I saw it in performance. Uh-huh. And uh, Lita was really something special. She was wonderful. Must have been, because this is a very hard um, variation. <laughs> well, we had known each other from other schools. Um, I studied with Svoboda, and she was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, of course, with Balanchine, Vilzak was there. And oh, yes. And uh, we had studied with Vilzak in other places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I knew Lita quite well. Well, I have a picture here of... And um, she was also, when I went on with Fokin, she was with Fokin. Oh, she was with Fokin also. Oh, well, here's yes. a picture of her. In oh, she, was, she was really wonderful. Yeah. In reminiscence. She was wonderful in everything. Uh, now, you performed this later y yourself. Yes. Um, um, and did you wear a costume like this, or what kind of a costume did you yes, wear? Yes, I wore a short tutu. Uh -huh. Not quite like that, but just a short tutu, because in clubs you had to do more than just one number, you know. Right. So my husband and I, we did, <laughs> it's incongruous, the pas de deux from Swan Lake. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. well, anything to entertain the audience, right? <laughs> and then I did this as a variation, and he did a variation, and... Um, so it made, you know, a complete act. Yes. Well, what kind but of dancer was Leda and Chujina? I think we can sort of tell from this variation. Oh, she was fantastic, classic. Mm -hmm. uh, she also did, who was at the time here, a uh, Russian opera company. And Mr. Svoboda was ballet master of that. She danced in that. Mm -hmm. She did, oh, she was lovely as a Persian dancer in Havadchina. In what? Havadchina. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so I, I knew of him all of these. Yes. Um, she was very short, and you're rather short. Very tiny. So, yeah. No, I'm short now. Oh. I have shrunk. <laughs> oh, well, haven't we all? But I mean, <laughs> she does look like she was always uh, short. Lita, Lita <laughs> was, um, oh, very tiny. Mm -hmm. And when I was in the ballet Russe, well, she was there too. She was in the ballet Russe also? Mm -hmm. oh. and there was a, a ballet called um, Jude mm -hmm. And there was uh, one of the variations was a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it today. I think they called it a shuttlecock. Anyhow, oh, two yes, boys right. would uh, toss mm -hmm. her back and forth. Well, she was so tiny, they could do this. <laughs> <laughs> they could do it. Uh, it was great fun. Uh, well, I have a couple of other pictures here of the ballet. Now, you saw the ballet, Reminiscence. Oh, yes. That's Bill Dalla. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Yes. He was a good friend. Um, and w what uh, do you remember about the ballet as a whole? Uh, about reminiscence? Yeah. Well, I, my impression of it is that Mr. Balanchine was one of the first things he did for his company here. Mm -hmm. He was reminiscing yes. to old Russia. Uh -huh. And sort of bits and pieces from ballets that he had been in because it opened with a uh, polonaise, the entire company polonaise, as if it was uh, Sleeping Beauty. Uh-huh, third act. And then yeah. there was the 
ballerina, which was this variation. There was a grand pas de deux. There was a mazurka, a chardas, and a tarantella. Tarantella, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it all evolved from that. And I think it was a delightful ballet. I don't know why it's not used today. Well, you know, the company <laughs> folded right away, and then there was yeah. very little opportunity to... Yeah. I mean, he didn't actually have another company for quite a while. Well, he, he went on into the Met. Right, but Met, of course, you yeah. know, they allowed ballet and only grudgingly, I think. And I think it was performed right. maybe once at the Met in 1936, but that's about it, because well, they didn't have any ballet evenings, I or think hardly any. Christine kept pushing until he got it, Lincoln Christine. Yeah. Because he's the one that brought Balanchine here. Right. And, uh, now, here's another photo uh, from the ballet. Mm -hmm. Of course, this may be opposed. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there isn't. Not quite sure who they were. Well, I think it's Holly Howard and Elise Ryman. Uh -huh. And Dollar. Yeah. Holly was originally with the Littlefield Ballet. Right. Which uh, was a lovely company. I wish it hadn't disappeared. Yes, I've heard nothing but good, yes, it was nothing a great but good things about. About the company and the training of the dancers. Yes. From mm -hmm. Philadelphia was apparently really terrific. Holly had the most amazing jump. Oh yeah. She could out jump any man. Oh. <laughs> she just flew. <laughs> so tell me more about your background. You also studied with Fokine, is that correct? I studied with Fokine. Mm -hmm. I danced in his company here, which was now and then and off and on. Right. Well, like that's yes, carnival. Yes, well, here, this is, yes, a carnival, picture of you. Yeah. Yes. In carnival. In, as staged by Fokine, of course. Yeah. And then... Um, we recently put that back together, or attempted to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, then, of course, did you, uh, you worked with Massine? Yes. And you studied with Abukov and Vilsak? Not, not Abukov, Vladimirov. Vladimirov. Mm -hmm. Vladimirov and Vilsak and Svoboda and Kobolev and Celli. Um, he was Italian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you really uh, got around so, yeah. all the great teachers of the day. I did. Uh, Early upper company for him, I was ballerina. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yakovlev was wonderful, Alexander Yakovlev. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I studied with him. But, uh, you know, at those days, wherever you could get work, that's what you did because sure. there was very little ballet. Yes. So um, my husband and I wandered into nightclubs. Right. Well, I have a photograph of the two of you. We did do. Um, Musicals, I Married an Angel for Balanchine, mm -hmm. Louisiana Purchase for Balanchine. Mm -hmm. But uh, you never knew if it's going to last a week or... Oh, I know. <laughs> Very insecure. Here's a picture so, of the two of you in yes. a nightclub act. That's I a guess. nightclub act. Uh -huh. After trying this in nightclubs, we decided we had to do something a little... <laughs> a little bit easier. <laughs> so we went Viennese and... Uh, well, that's at the Copacabana, same thing. This is oh, all a, mm -hmm. a thing from the Copa. And uh, this was a, a nightclub that we were in, I don't know, publicity picture of some mm -hmm. sort. Yes. And this was uh, Helen Goes to Troy, the Messine. Oh, the Messine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These both? So, oh. um, that's uh, Jean Guillis. That's me. I don't know who that was, and that's my husband. And this is Helen Goes to Troy also? Hmm? This is also Helen Goes to Troy? Yes, they both were. Well, tell and me that. about the music. Now, I was amazed to find that you had, uh, all these years, kept the music, kept the score. Well, um, they sort of like keeping a scrapbook, you know? Yeah, <laughs> but there were some cuts that Balanchine made, in other words, from the, the original Vals Chromatique, some, he well, did that. I'm not really sure, but... Well, the music from, is some from things what are crossed I out, yeah. Yeah. So it's um, very interesting that he kind of speeded it up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to give the dancer any time to rest. Um, uh, now, when you said when you did this in nightclubs, they had a, sh a longer introduction or a shorter introduction? Uh, we had the long introduction. Well, actually, about what they had here today. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes uh, you have to climb through tables. Sure. <laughs> and uh, never knew if I was coming from the right or the left or where. So. Mm -hmm. And over a period of time, I really forget what Lita did <laughs> with yes. the introduction. Yes. I just started with the dance. 
Well, so I want to just thank you for coming and uh, restoring well, this. I think it's most exciting. <laughs> it's been fun. And, uh, and I love working with this girl. She she's lovely. Wonderful. Yes. Well, as I said, you must come and watch her on stage because I mm. think she'll have a terrific career. Oh, I'll make a point to you.